Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Tom Peter and we've got a 10 minute dumbbell only bicep workout for you today. There's two rounds doing 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off with five different exercises, hitting the biceps from all different angles, making sure we work each head of the bicep as well as some of the forearms. We're gonna kick things off with a Zottman curl. We're gonna start from mechanically difficult positions and as you get tired, work to easier exercises. Let's get ready to go. The weights I used are in the video description. This starts off the same as a classic bicep curl with a neutral grip twisting up to the top. But when you get to the top, you're gonna to turn to an overhand grip, keep the elbows tucked and lower slowly under control. You're gonna repeat this, twisting each time, making sure you have a nice amount of control on those negatives. got a 30 second break now it might seem like a long rest having only worked out for 30 seconds so far but the intensity is going to build through this workout and you'll start to appreciate these rest intervals we're going to move on next to something called a drag curl this is one of my favorite bicep exercises you want the dumbbells to travel up in a straight line pulling your elbows back and try not to shrug your shoulders Drag the dumbbells up until they come level with your chest and your forearms should be about parallel with the floor. You should be squeezing your bicep at the top, pausing for a split second, and then following that same straight line path down to the bottom. Now we're gonna move on to some one and a half bicep curls. So it's gonna start off like a conventional curl, but then you're gonna come halfway down and back up to the top. So you're adding an extra half into the top half of the curl. You're gonna come back down to the bottom though in between each one and a half. You can start off with the dumbbells in a neutral grip, the bottom, that means your palms facing one another. But when you get to the top of the curl, you should have rotated so that your palms are facing the ceiling and you're gonna keep them facing up for the half as well. Next up, we've got a hammer curl. This is gonna hit one of your forearm muscles called the brachioradialis, as well as hitting the long head of the bicep. Just gonna curl up with that neutral grip, squeeze at the top and lower of control. No twisting needed during this curl, just maintain that neutral grip throughout. Have a little squeeze of the biceps at the top and try and minimize your body movement by bracing your core. We're on to the last of the five exercises in this first of two rounds. We're gonna do some alternating bicep curls, adding a nice big twist in at the top, focusing on squeezing the bicep and lowering of control. Just make sure you're not throwing the hips into the curl or swinging the dumbbells. So you should be lowering with control and squeezing the dumbbell rather than swinging it up.
great job take a 45 second break now we're halfway through we've got those five exercises again for one more round and then you finish with the workout if you think you went a little bit light in the first section and it was easy this is your chance to bump the dumbbells up a bit i actually found that i was riding the line pretty hard with what i could do so i'm actually going to go down one dumbbell for this second section to make sure my form keeps really neat so we're going to start back with those zottman curls get yourself ready to go You can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no hope You can still go I never ran to the no Man, I still go Go, go Slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never am. 
keep going this is the last set of the workout hopefully your biceps are pumped up and burning by now if you enjoyed this workout once it's finished hit that like button and let me know in the comments how you found it if you've still got energy you could carry on and do another workout i've got a great 10 minute tricep one coming out as well as some short ab ones that go really well with this one if you're looking for more structure to your training, I've got a 12-week dumbbell ebook out. It's more of a strength plan, giving you workouts with reps, sets, and a strength rotation. I'll link that in the description. Have a great week, and hopefully I'll see you again soon for another workout.